Now, I'm going to be clear. I always feel like I'm not doing something justice because to come on the air and say pedophile rings run the planet sounds pretty wild. But you notice it just keeps continuing to come out. And they infiltrate every institution, the Catholic Church, Penn State. Of course, it turns out a bunch of the faculty was involved in a cover-up. You don't think Sandusky was raping little kids in there in broad daylight at, at noon on a Saturday and it wasn't authorized. Sandusky, through his charity, was supplying small children who were troubled so they could deny they had problems to the elite. You notice a bunch of Homeland Security people are involved. You notice they keep getting busted with little kids. And they'll burn a few just to scare their own people, or they'll burn innocent people occasionally. This is how they operate. Most of the Pentagon's had child porn loaded on its computers. And they tell people, just do what you're told, you won't get in trouble. But I didn't. Well, look at the porn. Doesn't matter. We could jail you if you don't do what you sh are told. I was told 15 years ago by former CIA commander and former senator John DeCamp that Penn State and the Boys Town was a pedophile ring. It later all came out. Like, let's get Senator John DeCamp back on, who exposed the Franklin cover-up. My point is, is that I'm an expert on this. And I can tell you, DynCor runs child kidnapping worldwide. It's come out in Congress. And I was death threatened when I was first breaking this eight years ago. Very serious death threats. They were giving me stuff on the phone and in parking lots, threatening me that they would only know if I was under surveillance. And they said, we're going to kill you if you don't shut up. Well, I, I doubled down. DynCor is the biggest CPS um, contractors in the country. They run most of the CPS in Texas. Private contractors. That's a fact. Look it up. So let me just show you a snapshot of what I had them print during a three-minute break earlier in the hour. I threw off some names, said, pull it up. They pulled up what I said. This is just a small smattering. Uh, we're going to skip the network break. It's too important. Stuart Hall's sentence for sex attacks on girls is double to 30 months. Court of Appeals rules, former BBC broadcasters, original 15-month jail term was inadequate. <clears throat> reportedly raping hundreds of girls. Named by David Icke, who worked at the BBC more than a decade ago. Let's continue. Experts, pedophiles in Hollywood, even bigger problem than in Corey Feldman's day. Corey Feldman's gone public. His friend was reportedly killed. We've been contacted uh, by um, Corey Feldman before his book even came out. And we talked to him, and I just said, look, Bring your book out, then I might have you on. And it's just because I'm, I'm not doubting you. It's just that I've got huge issues to cover, and I can't get destroyed for something that I can't prove. Well, now he's come out, and nobody sued him over it. So we're ready to have Feldman on. In fact, contact him. He contacted us two years ago. Let's get him on if he wants to come on. Uh, Peaches uh, Geldof faces police investigation after naming moms who allegedly offered babies for pedophile rocker. Well, now there's been convictions. It's turned out it was true. What happened to her? Peaches Geldof dead, post-mortem set for today, an unexplained and sudden death. Hmm. Go public, you die. She had a soul, though. She's with God now. You better believe it, folks. Now enter Brian Singer, sex abuse accuser, names three more Hollywood bigwigs in lawsuits. You look at the players, you look at their whole history, yeah, I look at the, this guy's testimony. I believe he's telling the truth, but I can't prove that. It's still alleged, except for some of the people connected are convicted pedos. You take one look at them, they got that look in their eye. Now, before I get into that, look at this right here. You've got celebrity arrest could soar after horrified police discover Jimmy Savelle's secret lair at Record Shop, a secret dungeon behind a fake wall. Then they convicted his butler with this, his driver who then turned up dead when he was set to testify against him. Look at this, against others. Savelle's convicted pedophile BBC driver found dead on day. He was due to stand trial for sex crimes uncovered. See all the deaths? I could keep going. I could keep going. See, here's the problem with covering any issue. People think, oh, that's just your opinion. Pedophile rings run things. They've continued to find dead babies of children, dead babies and children in and around Sonoma County 
at Bohemian Grove. You know, I was there two years ago with the History Channel and uh, Metzler's uh, Decoder, I think it's called. I was on a couple episodes. I only watched one of them. I'm on a whole bunch of those shows. I don't watch hardly any of them. And, he, and we're in a theater during the day. And they've got the plastic original alien, one of five, uh, from the movie Alien, 1977 or whatever, 78. And then that's in there. And the place is really dark. It's a horrible vibe. And the people that are working there go, we're lawyers for the locals and we know who you are. And I'm in there, you know, with the, the Grove leadership. And I think you're the problem. And I told him, I said, we're supposed to infiltrate today. They already know everything. They're going to come after us. I said, you're in a major nest here. I go, look at all the satanic stuff in here. And I go, look at how they're looking at me. They are mad you're in here interviewing me. We won't even talk about how we're about to infiltrate. Um, and the director was wearing a CIA hat and messing with me the whole time. And, and, and then and we go down the river to infiltrate. And they were waiting for us when we got there. And they all got arrested. And I said, I'm not going to jail. I jumped in the river, got out of the kayak, swam underneath when the police cars were on the other side, holding my cell phone up the whole time so I could call Aaron Dykes to come pick me up on the side of the highway. So, you know, I got away. I didn't go to your stinking jail. Anyways, long story short, then they made them basically whitewash the whole piece so they wouldn't charge them with trespassing. And I think that was all staged. We were led right into it. The point is, is that sounds crazy what I was describing. It was a really dark place, man. And most of the town is operating for them. They're in, they're in Sonoma. They're, in, um, they're on the Russian River. And it's the same deal. And little kids get found dead all, all the time around there. Some famous cases with Polly Kloss and others. And then you get the reports out of the Franklin cover-up of the snuff films. It, it's just, I just can't handle it. And you need to understand, folks, we're dealing with pure evil here. And basically, when you're in the town right outside the Bohemian Grove there in Monterio, it's like you're in the little town below Dracula's castle. But they've all been bitten, or most of them have. I mean, I had a fire department. This is on video in uh, an expanded Bohemian Grove uh, order of death we put out. If you get the DVD at Infowars.com, it has both the original film and the new one on it. And you see the fire department. They find out who we are, and they bow up. And it's the same deal. I mean, you're in a restaurant, and they go, you're Alex Jones. And they go, we don't like you. We're not serving you. Get out of here. And we're like, well, our camera's in the car. And I should have just confronted them. I mean, it, it, you go to that town, they work for ca the castle up on the hill. And they know it. And nobody wants to talk about the dead kids. Nobody wants to talk about the satanic rituals. Nobody wants to talk about it. And then people make jokes about it and go, oh, there's nothing going on there. Well, yeah, during the two weeks that it officially goes on, most of the people there aren't devil worshippers or pedophiles. But they get all the actors and directors and the people they're into to come there, and they ship in male prostitutes and top gay porn stars. That's in the news. Watch my films, and they, they do you know have gay sex there, and that's just the intro into it, though. And then they break off and go to other camps in the area. And so that's the gateway into this whole situation. And anybody that tries to expose it ends up dead. And this is how this pedophile cult of devil worshipers, they're, they don't, they're not just pedophiles, they're usually devil worshipers. It's come out, Savelle was, and others, with secret dungeons. And they think this country is theirs. And not all the CPS, most social workers are actually good people. I've run into the people that help old folks and others, or social workers that help teenagers are usually pretty nice. But statistically, and criminology handbooks will admit this if you take criminology, People that try to work around kids have the highest instance of being pedos because they're then in the system and know how to cover it up. Truancy officers, CPS, you name it. These are the people statistically, the ones that are in control of the kids, that you got to watch. Now let's go to John Bound's report, and we'll come back with your calls, Bob and Xander and Bob and Kyleen and others. 
And then we've got the Northeast Intelligence Network coming on with some very important intel. But right now, here is John Bounds' report. This is the type of reports you see back-to-back -back every night, 7 o'clock Central, at PrisonPlanet.tv. If you're not a member, support the hardcore journalism here. Now, here's his report just on the Hollywood situation. Here it is. Four powerful Hollywood moguls were accused of committing the sexual abuse of teenage boys in 1999. They include X-Men director Brian Singer, former president of BBC Worldwide America and former head of programming for Fox, NBC, and the WB, Garth Anseer, Gary Goddard, the head of a Los Angeles design group, and former president of Disney TV, David Newman. Mr. Newman previously worked with the ringleader of the perversion, Mark Collins Rector. Mr. Rector is a registered sex offender that pled guilty in 2004 to luring minors across state lines for sexual acts. The accuser is Michael Egan, now 31 years old. He claims that when he was a teenager, he was given money and threatened to keep quiet about the events that took place in Hawaii and Los Angeles, or he would be eliminated along with his family. However, Mr. Egan claims to have reported it to the police and subsequently the FBI in the year 2000, but no action was taken. Mr. Egan's lawyer, Jeff Herman, has until April 24th, 2014, to file additional charges against additional alleged perps in the state of Hawaii. Thursday, April 24th, is the cutoff date for past sexual abuse cases to be filed under a two-year window. All of the sordid details will be coming out in a documentary by Oscar-nominated director Amy Berg, nominated for Deliver Us From Evil, her expose on sexual abuse in the Catholic Church. The accusations have sent a shockwave of regret through Hollywood, as bigger names may be revealed for what they truly are. Sexual abuse of minors by Hollywood big shots is nothing new. The two Corys, Feldman and Haim, recounted how they were abused by executives. Corey Feldman says it led to Corey Haim's untimely death. Well-known actor Jeffrey Jones was arrested for possession of child pornography and accused of soliciting a 14-year-old boy to pose for pornographic photographs. Oscar-winning director Roman Polanski was hunted for years for the rape of a 13-year-old girl, eventually ending up doing time in a Swiss prison. The perversion in the British entertainment industry is just as flagrant. BBC presenter Stuart Hall was jailed in 2013 for 14 counts of indecent assault against girls as young as nine. BBC radio personality Freddie Zapp was accused of sexual assault of a female. And of course, we all know of Jimmy Seville's unrelenting abuse of minors that spiraled out of control for years while authorities looked the other way. There are one million children exploited every year in the global sex trade, a $32 billion industry that has ties to the highest levels of government. The time has come to reclaim our dignity from the sick, elitist cancer that is rotting the very core of humanity. That's John Bounds' report from InfoWars Nightly News last night. If you are not a PrisonPlanet.tv member and are not supporting true, independent, hardcore, liberty-based media, you're insane. Become a PrisonPlanet.tv member today. Share your membership with up to 11 people. Get involved in the info war. Your phone calls, then our guest coming this up. Back in one minute, Bob, Bob, Radio Bob. We got a bunch of Bobs on the line. Xander, we're going to all of you. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. 
Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. Waging war on corruption.